you. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got An Idiot Abroad Season 2, Episode 1. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, this show is epic. Yes. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? And Carl Pilkington is a great mind. He is one of a kind. <laughs> one of a kind. Definitely. And uh, and I guess we, we experienced um, a, a lot with him, and he showed us a lot in these uh, unique places that he went. The Seven Wonders. We experienced the Seven Wonders. Machu Picchu, the Great yes. Pyramids. Yes, um, Mexico. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Mayan Pyramids. Yes. Yes, the tribes. A lot of different things. The, uh, the man that... Um, mangled his genitalia yeah he was from India yeah he twisted his junk up yes 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 and did the jumping jacks yeah. very interesting yeah alright man so um, I'm ready to uh, experience this in season 2 you ready alright season 2 let's go the bucket list the bucket see list. the glaciers before they melt go the on African safari African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. It's difficult. Whoa. He was so suspicious after the last time. Uh, oh, oh, hell no. He's going with sharks. You told him that he gets to choose <laughs> from the list whatever he wants to do. This is doing the edit. Uh, that doesn't mean that there will be a <laughs> few news. treats in store that he's not expecting. Walking out! This is a man who's reluctant. What was this? This is a man who doesn't want to do this. What was he doing there? No. Oh, you're going buddy no. jumping. It's making Carl do <laughs> things that other people want to do before yeah, they die. Yeah, exactly, yeah. This isn't his list. <laughs> what is that? that? That can't be real. Have you heard of the term bucket list? Yeah. What yeah, do you it's understand like, it to well, be? It's things to do before you die, isn't it? We've sort of compiled a top hundred that we've taken from loads of loads of lists, and these seem wow. to be the most popular one hundred things to do is. before you die. Anything you fancy there? Fire and fight as yet. That's a long list. Get that. What's the sort of things you've heard of in the past as a typical bucket list? It's daft stuff. Right. Uh <laughs> Skydiving, mm -hmm. <laughs> bungee jumping. Why is that daft though? Because it's not worth doing that sort of thing. I think it's dangerous. It well, is. Why do you think people do it then if it's pointless? Because they're idiots. It's a hundred. Gel perm there. It's a hundred. Australians. Sort of. You're not jealous of their hair, are you? <laughs> no, I just mean it's that sort of. Go to the go. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> normally I'd avoid them. Like, yeah. I don't want to know them sort of people. Right, go down the list. Okay. Well, I think you'll find that jumping out of a plane probably is on here, and as is bungee jumping, but there's obviously, uh, there's a hundred options here. Things you do it. before you die. I mean, like, being on a private uh, desert island, even though I'm not go. that interested. Right. I prefer that than doing the dangerous stuff. So, should we tick that? Spend a night on your own private desert island. Desert island, that's Just the name one of this, night. this first episode. <laughs> but desert what am I doing island. then? Okay. Just chilling out. Hanging out. <laughs> it's, it'll be sunny, you just walk around naked, no, I wouldn't do that. Like, why? <laughs> There's no one there. Just walk around, no, you know, I'll, like nature, you completely naked, no, as God I intended. I wouldn't do it. I, don't, I, I, I wouldn't do that. Well, if you're doing that one, we're confiscating your pants when you land. Just because you never know. Wasn't it Crusoe who was on there? Who? And Friday cropped up. Who? Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, he wouldn't have walked around with his knob out. He did, and yeah. Friday cropped up. That's what I'm saying. You think no one's there. A boat comes in, a, a cruise with a load of tourists. I'm stood there with knob and bollocks uh. out. <laughs> anyway, sand and that, it's not good to be nude in the sand. <laughs> nude. OK, uh, spend a night on your own desert island in your pants. Uh, that's stupid. Yeah? You can go a bit mad, though, can't you? <laughs> not in a <laughs> day. <laughs> day. <laughs> if I was there, you could. <laughs> Hello, Carl. Island. Steve, mate. How's it going? All right. Um, good news. We found you a lovely little desert island, all right, in a place called Vanuatu, which is in the South Pacific. Beautiful. They found him in New Zealand. This is going to be a messed but, up But, um, Ricky and I were chatting and we thought it was a bit mad for you to go all the way to your desert island and, and not stop off in New Zealand. 
which is a great place to experience what is probably the ultimate bucket list classic, the bungee jump. <laughs> There's we could have no gone straight way. to the desert island, but instead we've come all the way here for a pointless occasion because it's not going to happen. <laughs> I said I'm not bungee jumping. <laughs> when we He's talked about the whole jump. bucket list thing and Steve was going, oh yeah, bungee uh, jumping, that's, that's what people want to do. They might, uh, but I don't. And this is meant to be my bucket list. I've been on the world now for 38 years. I don't need to introduce this now. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm just creating a new problem if I do get into bungee jumping. I don't want to change. I don't want to get into this. Wow. Oh, hell no. Oh, let it go. Look out. Bring that chin up. So a bit snazzy. Nah, forget it. Yes. No. And you're going to die again. <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> it's, it's so no. Quick. Honestly, you'll be coming up saying, I need to do that again. So what was that noise? I just made a noise I've never heard come from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's that noise again. You're going to go. <laughs> no. This. Yes, you are. No. You have got it, mate. No. Uh, no. <laughs> no, forget it. Forget oh, it. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, there's a cube. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm not this is your it. chance, bro. Man, the fuck up. Man up, boy. Uh, Pop it up, snowflake. Come on. Come on, push him. Right, stop talking a second. Just give me brain just a chance to count myself in. They're going to push him. Do it. Just do it. Nah, forget it. I've, I've honestly, yeah, uh, forget it. Bold it, bold it. Uh, I'll be the same uh, way. Hell no, I'm not doing it. How's it going? How's it going? I'm in New Zealand. That wasn't on the list. Uh, Bungee jumping cropped up. Day one. What's the point? Uh, <laughs> it won't be funny if you, you know, overcame your fears. It'd be a, it'd be a triumph. That's often the case, isn't it? With things you don't try. People say, oh, I don't know. Oh, like have you ever tried it? No, well that was the same with olives. But you can't put it in the same category. No, you I, can't. I made a noise when I was stood up there looking down. <laughs> I have never heard the noise come out of me. It was sort of like a <laughs> noise. I've never done that. <laughs> oh god, like a little bald wookie. Honestly. <laughs> oh. He didn't do it now. But I, no. Uh, <laughs> No, do I wasn't. It. I wasn't no, scared. Will you stop saying the scared no. thing? <laughs> you were scared. Because I've arranged you to go where bungee was actually invented, okay? And this island oh, is also known oh. as the happiest place in the world. So, oh, no moaning. This is where bungee was invented? I'm going to go and see where the bungee was invented. Okay. Let's see what difference it makes about seeing where something okay. was invented. It's not even a proper invention. It's not like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. It's going to be some nutter jumping off a tree with a bit of rope attached to his leg. It's not an invention. <laughs> feet haven't touched the ground. I can't believe I'm getting in another plane. I have been in the air more than some pigeons. Pigeons seem to walk <laughs> about on land more than I've been doing the last two days. I thought EasyJet was bad. Look at this. Fucking hell. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, just about. I'm on a plane. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do it. I told you I didn't want to do it. It's dangerous, isn't it? I said before I left London, I wasn't going to do it. I think you're taking the piss, What do you mean I'm taking the piss? I mean, if you could see where I am, I'm not taking the piss. This is no decent holiday. This. I'm sat with a load of luggage here with my knees in the back of the pilot. <laughs> you are. I've got to try and just control this, otherwise you're going to end up killing me. <laughs> He's right, they're going to end up killing me. I'm doing this random shit. I'm having to wear sharks. I don't know, I should be enjoying this bit now, shouldn't I? Because it is nice, isn't it? Okay, I've yeah, just got that short, little niggle. Of Ricky and Steve moaning at me because I didn't do that bungee jump. If I come to the happiest place in the world and I'm not happy, yeah, like, what's up with me? I'm here to see this land diving thing, which is, you know, it's like the birth of the bungee, isn't it? If I keep saying no to stuff, it's like 
will it get worse? And I'm just thinking through my head about what this land dive is. If I don't do a land dive, what are they going to find for me tomorrow? It's like, Carl, get down to tarmac dive. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. So that's a land dive? Yeah, land dive. <laughs> land dive, man. Yeah. Land dive, bungee jumping. My God. Oh, no, no, oh no, no. Oh, my no, God. No. You bring me to these places and expect oh my yeah, God. just for me to fit in. Look at that for an image. Uh, and you're just dropping me in it. Cole, Cole, just calm down a minute. Just look, look, look <laughs> yeah, jumpers. I will have a look, but he keeps well, yeah, they're, they're expecting me to jump. It's not going to happen. Diving. You, I'm surprised you think that I'd do that. Hell no, don't do that, I'm Carl. I'm happy to go up there and have a look, but I'm not doing the jump because... <laughs> I thought it was going to be smaller than that. Yeah, they built this special for you. So don't worry, man. They built that for him. People come today to see the first white man to jump. So you will do it. He said, so you will do it. Definitely oh, not. Well, no. That's how you're going to do it. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Look at Steve saying it's oh, the island of so happiness. I can't right see him getting happiness out of that. What if it snaps? I mean, they look happy. What are they wearing? Constantly happy. How high is it, John? 30 meters. 30 yeah. meters. And what, what are they expecting here? Because I doubt I'll I'll do it. I, I, <laughs> are they are these people expecting me to do it from the top? Yeah. <laughs> they want you to do it to the top. Yeah, but why? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. They gonna break their neck, man. You see, I've got a mortgage and things. I've got bills to pay. Uh -huh. Oh, did he hit his head? What a lunatic. Oh, he bottled it. <laughs> he bottled it. Oh, no, he, oh, what is the crack? The fine, special fine. It's just dangerous. Special fine. Oh! Kids shouldn't be doing that's that. Really I mean, people at home say you shouldn't give really Xboxes really and Playstations to kids because they don't play out. <laughs> if that's the alternative, keep them in. <laughs> I don't want to be grabbing something. Do you know what I mean? You <laughs> say you don't want to be grabbed. <laughs> I'm happy to have a dance with them, but that's not going to be enough for Ricky and Steve, is it, when they see that lad diving off there? They'll go, he did it, why can't you do it? Dangerous. What do you think I can get away with doing here? Oh what would you be happy for me to jump from if I jump from the bottom bar? Is that, is that OK? <laughs> that's OK. He got Does that on. count as a land dive? Yes, Everybody agree? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> they say it's right, it doesn't matter what Ricky and Steve say. It's a land dive. I'm diving Steve from there. Steve's got a hat on with leaves. I don't think anyone knows how dangerous it is. I'm getting advice here from a cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> I've got sweat in my eye. This is high up, this. It's a lot higher than I thought, Why this. <laughs> feel like Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah. Let's get a move on. Probably got a plane to catch. <laughs> Break your neck. Boy's tripping. All right. That's beautiful. Where are you? I'm where I'm meant to be now at last. I'm in Vanuatu. Some... I spoke to Steve and he was all a bit uh, down on me and that, and you were calling me a chicken. I got there, did the proper land dive. 
after, they were all like carrying me about, the local village all throwing me about in the air. They were loving it. <laughs> Done it. Did you do the real one or did you do the child's version? <laughs> I've got to be honest. Yeah, I know, how are you? It was the one below the child's one. It's about four, four foot, Carl. <laughs> it was below it was the about, child. It was about five foot. <laughs> five foot? Sorry, I high jump higher than that. No, it, I think it was about five and a half foot. Uh... <laughs> Basically, if you were falling over... You did do it head first. Your head, I didn't know. This is all I wanted. This this is what I was picturing when I picked the desert island thing. Just relaxing, enjoying my own company. Time to think, seeing if my brain works different when I haven't got the stress of Ricky around me, Suzanne asking for stuff, problems at home, the boiler. That should that that, that looks never going to happen. The starfish and the sausage never meet. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it as much as I normally would. Damn, look at this. Ricky and Steve have sorted it out, and a bit of me is thinking, why are they doing this? It's almost like being in a private hospital. <laughs> yeah, you're getting a comfy Damn, bed, you're getting good food. But tomorrow, you're having a leg off. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're definitely treating it this season. Yeah. Is that his plan? <laughs> this isn't for me, is it? <laughs> I'm not going on another plane, Luke. It's, it's pointless. No way. Damn. That's a hardy small plane. Hey, hey. All right. Damn, just pulled up to him. Just call my man. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Man. Seriously, how many more flights have we got to do on this? Because it's, I think it's getting out of hand. <laughs> I haven't even had any bag unpacked since I've been here. It's just been jumping on a plane, off a plane, on a plane, and now I've got to get to another island to get on another plane to get to another island. It's just doing me head in. It doesn't even make sense, this place, Vanuatu. 82 islands make it up, don't they? I mean, what? How does that work? It's just in bits. It's like it's been blown up. <laughs> Damn. So is that, is that the volcano there to our right? Land of magic, land of fire. I'm, I'm not that happy being this close. Damn. If that can go off, because they can splurt for miles, can't they? Because I hate burns. I hate it when I'm doing fried eggs. You get a bit of fat spitting out, lands on your hand. That's what this is like, just frying an egg. I think I well, just got a text from Steve. Hello, Carl. I hope you enjoyed the five-star resort. Sorry, mate, but the fun's over now. Time to go a little deeper and see how the locals live. A plane's taking you to the island of Tanna, where you'll meet a tribe who worship Prince Philip. Enjoy, Steve. They worship oh. Prince Philip. Mm -hmm. I mean, what does he mean, there's a tribe that, that worship Prince Philip? How does that happen? How does that come about? Just when, you know, I, I think things can't get weirder, you say, yeah, I'll give these pictures of Prince Philip, a 90-year-old man, to a tribe in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hi. Amy. What's your name? I'm Chay Chay. Chay Chay? Chay And this is Albi, our greatest dancer, the chief. He's the happiest man in the village. Is he? And he's the one to tell you the whole story about Prince <laughs> Philip and our people. <laughs> the greatest <laughs> dancer, <laughs> the chief. Rain. He's <laughs> asking, isn't he? The happiest man in the village. You like Prince Philip? See his face. Let's see if he likes this. <laughs> you, you, your mum. You like him. You worship. Show you this though. Why? Do you like this? Philip. 
Philip. Philip, mm -hmm. his wife. He was 90. Just a special coin they did. Five pounds. Five, quid. five pounds? Five quid. Five pounds. Um, yeah. I think he was happy with it. It's fine. You can have that. I don't know where you're going to keep it. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Solid. <laughs> Are we far? Still f an hour. An hour? Yeah. An hour yeah. on, on this? An hour? That's a long ride. Why did they worship Prince Philip? Did he visit the tribe one day or something? Were they expecting me? They all look like they were, uh, they were waiting for me. Yeah. Everyone is waiting. So, is there anything I need to do? I'll just say hello. I'll just say hello. <laughs> hello. Thanks, hello. Thanks for having me. It's a lot of people. This is like a proper, uh, proper tribe, this. Damn. Those some old pictures. These are the photos of uh, the Prince Philip. It is weird, isn't it? I mean, here they are, proper tribe, you know, living half naked in a jungle. And yet they're like Prince Philip in some sort of god way. I can't get my head around how, how that came about, honestly. <laughs> What's this? What's, uh... You met him, then? Hang on, that's not real. That's the real one. Well, how did you sort that out? Because most you people need to that's meet him. him. You do a Duke of Edinburgh award. You have to help old people across the road or that sort of thing, and you get, you get to get your foot in the door and you meet him. He invites us to meet him at the Winter Castle in London. I can't believe that. Damn. I can't believe it. So they've actually met him, that's why. It is weird. OK. Like they've got all these Makes pictures sense, up and they worship him. <laughs> but at least he exists. Some people worship stuff, you know, these gods and everything, that you don't even know where they are. <laughs> you, you know, you, you certainly don't have a postcode for your god. They have. They can write him a letter. True. So the chief will tell you the whole story about the link between the banana and the prince. <laughs> he basically came here once, and ever since his visit, problems went away. So they worship him. OK. I don't know if it's just Makes a coincidence. Sense. I don't know if Philip did sort it. I've never known him to sort anything. What are they eating? At the end of the day, it's mm -hmm. making them happy. Look like some bread and meat. And if they're happy, they've got all the pictures up, gives them something to look at. You've got to have a hobby, haven't you? And that's their hobby, in a way. I want to tell you that the flag that we have raised here, you will be our defender. Bit heavy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm meant to be here to go on a desert island. Do they know I'm not powerful? I'm not a powerful figure. I'm just a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> we depend on you, so now you <laughs> promised that everything will be good. They're going to start worshipping him now. I do. <laughs> I mean, I don't go, oh, what's, what's the main concern here? What, what are they worried about? <laughs> oh, I'm not quite sure. I mean, that's madness. When I was at school, my head teacher said Carl will never be a high flyer. I'm suddenly part of the UN, <laughs> joining, sorting out the world problems and everything. That's not me, that. I mean, that's, I think I said the right thing, didn't I? Uh, they don't need to worry. Everything's going to be good. Things change, but I think... I think it'll be all right. I, I'd carry on as you are. <laughs> it's a bit sort of something that Obama would say or something. It's quite sort of positive. Yeah, that's a good message. Join the queue. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Stay behind the same person, yeah? <laughs> This is how we become more happy. Dance. We dance, we get a dance, we dance together. We sing, we clap our hands, we clap our feet, make okay. us feel happy. It's all about keeping happy. They said if you feel down, have a dance. And that's true, isn't it? If you can get your heart going, it does make you happier. <laughs> yeah. And I get my heart going by this moaning. When I get annoyed, I wonder if that's when the heart the kicks in. It's a win-win for me. Because my heart gets going when I'm having a moan, and that makes me feel a bit better. And if I'm happy, I'm happy.
<laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy now. No more dancing, I'm happy. <laughs> Over the moon. Woo! Uh, that was all a bit full on, wasn't it? Oh, that was I, a weird I try. I still don't know what's going on. I don't know if they've been signed up to replace Prince Philip or what, but they, they all seem happy, so that's fine. And now Albie wants to take me down the road to the, the local volcano that he also worships. So, what can you do? How high up are we going? I've always thought it'd be handy having a volcano close to hand just to get rid of, you know, old mattresses, old chest of drawers you don't want. It's a pain in the arse at home, isn't it, when you've got to call the council 25 quid a time? Chuck it in that big hole. I'd love that at home. Some sort of big burning hole that you just chuck stuff in. Is it, is it, is it good luck to throw anything in? You're not allowed? Do We are not allowed to throw in anything. What's the point in having it, then? Now. <laughs> uh, Damn! Uh, it's about to blow. Get off, uh, man. Carl, you must struggle to survive in hard places like this in the desert and learn to, to enjoy yourself. So, mm. as podding is one of the things that can make you happy when you are in the desert. I was happy. Yes. I was happy when we were down there. Mm. I was fine. Now we're arse boarding. I've never heard of arse boarding. Arse boarding <laughs> is sliding down in the like arse. Yeah. So you're the last people uh, to do this. You're gonna get a load of ash up your ass. I've got the wrong pants off. <laughs> so what do you hold on to? You just fucked off without telling me what you do. <laughs> what the no, hell? It's not. It's broke. <laughs> Albi, gonna borrow your sleigh. This is knackered. <laughs> it doesn't look fun. It's not gliding though, is it? Yeah, my little guy did that one. Really <laughs> <laughs> like a dog, like, and it does. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're too happy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> too happy. That's what I'm good at. Be designing stuff, making it work for me. Uh, it worked a lot better. It did. That's just what I want to do on my desert island. Find stuff, make it work for me. Uh, I was loving it. Did you say he was the happiest or the maddest man on the island? He yeah, was the happiest. <laughs> Loving it. Or the maddest. Have you ever done the thing when you roll down the hill? Uh, let's share some fun. Yeah, let's have a roll. <laughs> <We're> roll. <all. laughs> That's more fun I, than I'd the I'd say ass happiness board. is like having a cake. If you had a cake every day, you get sick of that cake. Oh, and if you're happy all the time, you get sick of being happy. That's, that's a good saying, actually. Um, Happiness is like a cake. Healthy. Have too much of it, you get sick of it. Good saying. <laughs> Happiness is like New cake. Hello, mate. Uh, just one more plane ride, and uh, another night for you with uh, a tribe. And Ricky and I found you, you're very own sort of uh, Man Friday, all right, to help you survive your night on a, on a desert island alone, all right? Another tribe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're messing around so much, meeting all these tribes. I've met, I've met <laughs> one, I've met a tribe. It better be different. If I get on there and there's a bloke with a, his knob in some wicker, I'll be annoyed. <laughs> I've seen that. Is, Ma, is the man Friday I'm meeting there? Why don't you change the sides? Man? Chief Kerouac. What's your language that you speak? My language is Nde. This tree here is a palm tree, but we say Nindindip. Nindindip? Nindindip. As we usually eat the fruit, we call it Naho. Naho? Yes. That one there, we call it Nindi. It's all N? Yes. Everything begins with N. Everything begins with N. What's that? It's a leaf. What's that? Leaf. <laughs> and we call it new whole name, new. So begin with L. <laughs> he just made that shit up. Have you run out of options? Um, See, do your kids play, have you heard of a game, I Spy? Yes. <laughs> Say, I spy with my little eye, something beginning with N. They can't play that here, there's no way they'd play it. It'd be well boring. It'd be out all day. We are going to see where. Uh, people uh, are lying. Everything begins this with This is where him. people are lying? Yes. Oh! Uh, what the hell? Jesus. Human? Yes. 
A woman. What was her name? Nicola. Nicola? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything begins with N. That's scary. What the hell was it? What'd she do? Why is it on her skull there? Where's the rest of her skeleton? She's making carver. Need some sort of root. Chop it up, pop it in that thing, crush it up, add a bit of water. That's what we're going to be drinking there, which I'm a bit worried about, because everyone's sticking their hands in it. <laughs> you look at this and you go, it looks different. It's all a bit weird. Pants to wearing and all that, but at the end of the day, everyone loves a drink, don't they? But I couldn't be asked. I don't think. Doing this every day. See, it worries me. If tomorrow I wake up and they're going, oh, you're, you're a good sport, you drank the car, you at the pork, pop a pair of pants on. I'm not wearing them pants. <laughs> I know Ricky kept going on about pants. I don't know what the rules are. What happens if, if they say, yeah, I pop these on? These are a pair of the Chiefs underpants. It's a real privilege. I'm not putting on warm yeah, close to Nick. pants. <laughs> All right, mate. I'm glad you didn't answer. That's a good sign. Hopefully they've taken away your mobile phone. You don't need that where you're going. You're going back to nature. Your own desert island. Toilet. And don't forget, Carl, it was you it with like nothing but sand, sea, sunshine, okay. and your little pants. That is an experience of a lifetime. See you later, boy. I don't know what's happening today. The, the chief son, apparently, he's, he's going to be going on the desert island with me. But before he does that, I've got to give him this gift of a pig. Yeah. Great, innit? Never met him before. You'd think a box of chocolates or a bunch of grapes would be enough, but I've got to give him a pig. Some sort of tradition or something. So I'd give you the pig, you'd give me this. Barter, bartering. That pig makes you an honorary tribe member. And this morning, the tribe would like to honour your presence by presenting you with your own Nambas, native pants. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> we have to give the uh, Nambas to you. I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> don't, don't trouble yourself. I'm quite happy. You've, you've made me welcome. Mm. Stayed the night. Gave me carver. Oh, you don't have to give me any more. Oh. Give that to us, we keep your numbers. It's our kind of respect. <laughs> I thought, I've, I've, you know, I've tried to fit in, but this is a bit of a big ask for me. I just thought I was coming to learn some skills. Uh, I, I'm, the, the pants are not an issue for me. I've got lots of underwear <laughs> whilst I'm on the desert island. He's getting a little ramped. I know, oh, I know yeah. it is, yeah, it is awkward. <laughs> I think then we have to do a dance. Yeah. You see that oh, a bit more now? It's pop the pants on, then have a dance. And that's when things pop out. <laughs> you should be well happy with that. Why do they want to see me prancing about uh, in some the... leaf pants? That's <laughs> going to be out there on YouTube out. forever, me walking out yes. when you know about like that. You see, th this is normal for you, but for me, this, this will go on the TV. And my mum, <laughs> my dad, oh, what's Carl been up to? I'm dancing around with stuff on show. It's all there to see, isn't it? <laughs> If it was a Christmas present, you, you wouldn't be getting any surprises. You go, I know what that is. You see, it's, I've, I've seen other Nambas, and there's lots of grass, lots of cover. Um, yours is slightly different. <laughs> you know, when I was sat in there last night in the hut, and I was looking at it, I thought, quite fancy some sushi. That's what it looks like, a bit of wrapped up cod in a leaf. I'm not wearing it. Boy, ah. they, they can trust you like this. Yeah, like that, that's yeah. good. Yes. Like that. Yeah. And I can leave me yeah. pants on. Yes. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have been much better if it had gone the other way. Uh, more than number, so it's a it's a it's a lose lose. I give him a five. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Do you want to go with my son here? Sure. And it's 
two of you are going to do this today then. It's been an idea. So John's going to teach me everything he I is. need to know how to John, use this, he is. He how to build, fire. fish, Rooms. cook, yes. everything. Yes. John. Hi John. Good to see you. Okay John. Mm. Hi <laughs> John looks scary. John looks like he get the job done. Yeah. Is this for shelter? I don't know. I don't think there's everything you might need on the island, Carl. I mean, um, I mean he's here to shelter. teach you what you need to know. Surely you should be getting involved. He got no shirt on. Um, I think I'm that type who, when I need to do something, I can do it. <laughs> I don't have to. Jesus. This thing wouldn't be happy, would it? How big is this hook going to be? Those are big leaves. Chuck them on the beach. Yeah. Child, see that over there? Oh, that's that, the that island. That would be your wow. desert island, mate. Mm. Not as big as I thought. I was picturing the bounty advert. They've been conned again, haven't they? Yeah, the theatre. He's pissing it down. I'm on my way over to a muffin. It's not even that <laughs> far away, am I? I'm hardly escaping everyone, am I? I thought it's meant to be like in the middle of nowhere, peace and quiet. Uh, Fucking freezing. It's crazy good, isn't it? Come on, John. Oh, no. Yeah, come on, John. <laughs> it's just a bad start. It's like moving on a rainy day, this. You're getting all the stuff wet. It's all bloody rock. Yeah. I haven't even started yet. The leaves are all damaged. Gotta try and get this done. Here. Here's ideal. Because a little bit of shelter from the wind in that little hole. Okay. Okay, John. Tie it. Actually, I've got some string. John! Use the string? Yeah, use the string, yeah. Let's just get it done. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. More rocks around the bottom. Yeah, yeah, use that. Just let's get the roof off. I mean, I honestly think people at home okay. won't think I'm in the South Pacific. It's chronic. We shouldn't be making a shelter, we should be building an ark. <laughs> just brought more of this. Never thought I'd be running out of gaffer here. This wasn't what I expected, was it? So I think, uh, at the end of the day, I think I'm entitled to change the rules a little bit. Put my coat on in a minute, because this isn't doing anything. In fact, I think, I think my skirt's growing without that much rain. Uh, I'm not sure Ricky would be happy about this, Carl. I don't give a shit. <laughs> There's no way he'd be putting up with this. <laughs> it's sort true. of ruining the look, isn't it? Well, that'd be a great look, was it? In Gok 1. <laughs> Pop it over over your head. Keep warm. <laughs> yeah, about there. Put the leaves on. Oh, it's not What's going on with the fishing? There isn't any. There's none knocking about. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing here. Did he get one? It's been me and John sat here all day. Built this, which I think is pretty good going, considering it's been pissing it down. You swanned up over there, oh, fucking yeah. filling your big fat face. <laughs> uh, and I thought you'd come back with something. It's not lighting. It's wet. I'd survive, wouldn't I, in this situation? I'm not made for this. Okay. Okay, John. Alright, John. Okay, so, I'm going to go back to my home. You're leaving? I'm leaving now. Taro here. Taro? Yeah. Roast it over for fire. How long? Probably an hour. Thanks again, John. Okay, John, okay, appreciate it. So Thank basically, you, I'm eating that sort of raw potato for tonight. <laughs> yeah. Ricky gave us something for when John left, in case you weren't able to sort of deal with your own company. You thought maybe you'd like a little, um, little friend. <laughs> Where's the old? Oh, 
Wilson. Cast away. So that's all he gave me, is it? That. <laughs> well, what am I meant to do uh, that? <laughs> What's the point of that? That's supposed to be Ricky. Look at it. Look at it. Um, <laughs> it's just going to wind me up, that. She's at me. When I was in the hotel, that nice hotel that Rick and Steve put me in, I took this, because when I opened the kitchen cupboard, it made me smile, right? It just says yeah. eggs on legs. It's an egg cup. I've had that out three it's times, it. and they've been sat here in the pissing down rain. It annoys me now. And that's the thing with happiness. You can't just ask for it on demand. And what might seem like a good idea one day, when it happens, it's shit. <laughs> like this egg cup. It was good the other day. I was relaxed. I was full. I wasn't cold. I wasn't piss wet through. Uh. Oh, it's coming back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> fishing? I'm starving. <laughs> getting wet all the time, eh? Getting wet. Wet socks is one of my biggest hates. We well, haven't got any on. I know, I know. Because it got wet. <laughs> I'm going to get some cooking, mate. Eh? Yeah, to go back to the other island again. <laughs> <laughs> no fire. Ah. Just like nothingness. Sort of a cross between wood and cardboard. <laughs> How's it going? Desert Island. Did it. Done. <laughs> yeah, that was the easy bit, sitting on a, sitting on a beach. It wasn't that easy, was it? It was hardly a beach. There was no sand. It was all rocky, sharp stuff. I had to sleep on it, getting up my arse, in my kidneys, piercing the lung. It wasn't the comfiest night of my life. I sat down to do a crossword. It was something like, what's the American version of a prawn, which is shrimp. Now I've relaxed, I know the answer. At the time, I was struggling. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what I like, isn't it? I like sort of being older. I'm looking forward to that. Did you get my present of Wilson? Well, well what, what use was that on a desert island? Just think of me, just go, uh, in times of hardship, you go, at least Ricky's always here. At least I've got Ricky. Uh, yeah, no. Would that made it better or worse if I'd have been there? You with a Nambas on. Sting of nightmares, that. <laughs> Jesus. Little bounty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. See you later, man. All right, see ya. Okay, puts my shorts on. And Ricky did say he yeah. wanted that yeah. football yeah. back. Got 36 yeah. hours on a plane to get back home. I'm carrying that as hand luggage. <laughs> a little reminder. That little annoying face. It's not. It's not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson! No! When you finally get to do the thing that you want, you realise it's not the thing Go you back. want. The problem is it's someone else's list, isn't it? I've gone into a, like a pick and mix and I've picked the things that I've picked because that's what's there. I might have gone in wanting licorice, but they haven't got any, so I've ended up having <laughs> cola cubes. Typical, isn't it? Day I'm leaving, the sun comes out. It's a Pilkington look. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. So he's doing a bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> this season. Yeah. Interesting. A hundred things that he could die doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh... It looks like they had some exciting things for him. You know what I mean? Bro, we yeah. Like bungee jumping. Oh, that was man. in the first episode. I thought he was <laughs> going to do it. How did he get all the way up there? I thought they were going to Get push to him. the platform. 
and just be right there and be like, nah. I've been the same way. I wouldn't have been able to jump. I, I think I would. Gonna, I would have jumped. I thought they were gonna push him. If they would have pushed him. Oh him. man. Because he was already man. hooked up. But yeah, I guess you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. So like three different tribes. Oh yeah, yeah. You had the uh, the wicker, the wicker, the wicker rap tribe. The first, the people to invent the mm-hmm. bungee jump. The bungee uh, jump. What yes. was it? It was this um, uh, something diving, land diving. Land diving. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Very tripping. dangerous. Look at this. This yes, yeah, beyond dangerous. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have multiple fatalities per year with that <laughs> with that game. Yeah, definitely. Both necks. Definitely. Yeah. Then you had the um, yeah, the tribe that uh. That um, you know, they worship Prince Philip. Yeah, yeah, that worship because Prince you Philip. visited them. Yeah, exactly. I guarantee you invited them to the uh, to the palace. Oh yeah, what were we saying? I guarantee you they um, they're worshiping Carl now. Oh yeah, they got a picture yeah, of definitely. Carl. Definitely, he gave him he gave him a five pound, <laughs> five pound of silver, five pound with his uh, yeah, face on the man. Yeah, yeah, they loved him, man. You see the whole they were like sitting there gathering around weeds, but he telling me he said like, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. And uh <laughs> Yeah, everything's gonna be good. Don't worry about it. And keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, just do what you do. <laughs> ah man, so Prince Philip made all their problems just go away. Yeah. Yeah, man. What problems could they have? I mean I guess maybe like disease or man, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Tribal. Yeah, season two is it started out epic. That yeah, was man. a lot for see for episode oh, one. Oh man, yeah, that was a lot for episode one. I can't wait to see episode two. So this was Desert Island. Should have been Deserted Island. 